In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways you can create pro sounding vocals in FL Studio. Watch this. This is the vocal I'm working with. I just pulled this out of FL Cloud. I'm gonna find the place in my mind where lives all my betrays. Make sure we throw that into a mixer track. We gain stage it a little bit. I normalize all my vocals and I throw generic bleeding on there. If you don't know what generic bleeding does, if we need to add any cuts or anything like that, it automatically adds these crossfades. Whereas with the new crossfade feature, you can turn on right here, turn on and off. You can add these crossfades manually, but if you're slicing a bunch and you're using a lot of cuts and there's a lot of gaps, it saves a bunch of time when you turn that generic bleeding on still. Even though this is like a legacy effect, a legacy feature, I love using that on vocals when I'm editing vocals. If we need to do some EQing, we do some EQing, right? If there's any unwanted lows, this one's pretty thin with a, being a female vocal. But a lot of times this is going to be living around here. You go to this type of high pass shelf and then I hover above the seven band and scroll the mouse wheel until I get this one right here. And then I scroll the mouse wheel all the way down and I get this low pass shelf for the seven band. I bring it all the way over here and I cut up until around like 16K. And then if I want to make the vocals a little bit brighter, I make them brighter here. I'm going to find the place. We have reverb on there already, but let's say we want to create a nice, clean sounding reverb. So I like to create a reverb send. And essentially, if you don't know what a reverb send is, it's just any other track in here. They're just docked to the left or to the right. Just to show you real quick, any other track and then dock it to the right. Put your favorite reverb on there. In this case, it's Fruity Reverb 2. I make my reverb, add some stereo separation, make sure the dry is all the way down, the wet is all the way up. And to get that on there, Go to the vocal track, highlight it, go to that reverb send and click the little arrow, left click it, and then just add however much reverb you want on there. I'm gonna find the place in my you can add some stereo separation here. It just widens it up a little bit. Now, you got to take this a step further to make this sound a lot cleaner. Because right now, the reverb will just run the entire way through the vocal. And it could sound a little bit muddy, clashy, a little bit too much going on. So I like to throw an EQ here. I'm gonna find the place. Just to roll some lows off of that. And then I throw my favorite pretty limiter. Put it on the compressor setting. Then we go here and we side chain to that vocal. Adjust the threshold down here. Ratio here. I'm gonna find the place in my mind where lives all so what you're seeing right here with these waves bouncing around, it's cutting the reverb and it's ducking the reverb and it's only letting it shine through certain gaps. And the higher you go with the threshold and the ratio, the more that will get squashed and pushed into the background and lower the reverb sound and only let it peek through those gaps. So you can hear it like really drastic right here if we go harsh with it. I'm gonna find the place in my You can hear it. I'm gonna find the place in my when I hit stop, the reverb just kind of like it blows out, right? That'll ensure a nice clean reverb sound the entire way through that vocal, and it won't be too much on top of that vocal. It just gets distracting. Same goes for a delay. Doing the same thing with the delay. Put your favorite delay on there. I like a ping pong. Again, dry all the way down or else the signal will get doubled. And then again, if you want those same settings, you can click save preset as, drag it. Same thing with the fruity limiter and the sidechain. And it's already linked to that, so it'll work right away. I'm gonna find a place in my mind where lives all my betrays, tries. Now this depends on the song and if you want to add a layer to like thicken it up Obviously it gives it more of an unnatural vibe But like I said if the song calls for it a lot of electronic music calls for this and it sounds really good We can copy and paste the entire vocal down make sure we have that entire vocal there Make it unique as sample and then I like to play around with this one of these new features in here stretch pro is really cool We can add a low pitch here I'm gonna find the place in my mind where lives all my betrays the stereo delay, I love playing around with that because it makes that that lower pitch one or whichever one you want to put it on, but it just widens it up. I'm gonna find the place in my mind where lives all my betrays. We should probably throw that into a separate mixer track, and I like to EQ that one a little bit differently. I'm gonna find because it might have like too much low end in it. And then we like the high end in the original vocal. So we might want to roll off some of the high end. And I'm not worried about this one being super, super present because this one is more of an after effect. It's more of a background effect, the layering effect. I'm gonna find so I can really filter this one. I'm gonna find the place in my mind where lives all my betrayed. Another thing I do to every unprocessed and sometimes processed vocal is I throw my stock native plugin vocal chain on there and I dock it to the left. And I'll show you what I have in here exactly. Exactly. Some basic stuff. Just a parametric EQ2 with some settings here that I always tweak according to the vocal, by the way. Always. Now, before I do that, I always take the vocals that I want to be processed, highlight both of them, control, click, drag, route to this track only on that vocal bus. Parametric EQ2. 
I just listen for a really piercing sound that's consistent throughout the entire vocal, and then I just pull that down a little bit. Like that right there. So I go to this little lever right here, this little knob, and bring that down so it stays right at 2272 hertz. Pretty compressor, but a lot of times I switch it to the limiter, and I put that on the compressor setting. It gives me more of a visual, and I just, I, I like the sound better. Attack I'll bring up so that way the compressor doesn't hit it too harshly right at the beginning of the syllables and the transients. And the release I'll leave around 50. Another EQ that just kind of like rolls a little bit more and brightens it up if I need it. Again, this is per vocal. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be brightened up too much. Sometimes lows sneak through, but on a female vocal, not so much. Yeah, that sounds good. And then the limiter, I just slightly crush the vocal just a little bit to get it really just consistent all the way through. I'm bringing the ceiling to the very top of the peaks that I can see here, and maybe just a little bit lower, so we do clip a tiny bit on any peaks that are above that ceiling. There you go, it's not distorted, it sounds super clean, it cuts right through everything in the mix, even though I'm not even like fully mixed yet. It sounds great. All right, next, I'm gonna do some sauce. I'm gonna see what key we're in. We're in C sharp minor. We haven't transposed this, so we are in C sharp minor. So I'm gonna set that to C sharp here. I don't even know what I've done so far, but let's just listen. Oof, that's crazy sounding. It sounds metallic. I'm guessing that's the mecca up here and the width it sounds wide. I'm gonna go through some presets, but like just tweaking it like this sounds insane already. Oof, that's so different sounding, bro. It sounds so good. I'm gonna find the place in moment where lives all my betrays. Tries. After some time, I'll see your words have been like you are. That's crazy. I'm going to leave it like that because this is like that electronic feel. And I think it matches perfectly with the vibe that I'm going for for this song. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to keep that. I got my other one there. My other preset that I made. I might want to layer in that harmony. I'm not really sure. Oh, you know what I can do? I can actually turn that one back on. I can record this one. So I just record just the one that harmony that I have. It'll create a new layer of a vocal in there and I can layer that in. But I'll go back to the effect with that preset that I just added for the harmony. This should be just that harmony that I created from scratch. I'm gonna throw that into a new mixer track. Go here. We're gonna turn this one off. Turn this one back on. I'm gonna find the place in moment where lives all my betrays. And then we got the low one. I'm gonna find the place in moment where lives all my betrays. Yeah, this is sounding pretty good. Now I wanna do something that I love to do that creates a lot of vibe, a lot of dynamic, and it's delays and echoes, but it's not in the sense of just slapping a delay plugin on a vocal. This is for vocals specifically that I love doing it. And these gaps. I want to have a delay, but I want to have a very controlled delay with very minimal, if any, automation. So I'm going to take. I'm going to find the place in moment where lives all my betrayed. I'm, I'm going to take that betrayed. word right there, cut it. And then just to have a little bit more control, I'll probably make it unique as sample. Cut these gaps down a little bit and then lower this with the clip gain. I like that only hits three echoes right now we since we put it in its own track i'll put just that clip in its own track because i might want to filter that a little bit differently than the rest of the vocal so because it's still it kind of clashes i want it to be tucked away but be heard at the same time if that makes sense yeah like that no delay plugin needed if we want to fade it i'll do very minimal quick automation with this little click and drop down menu here do a volume automation quick and this can get pasted over boom boom since it's the same one and if you want to do take it a step further do panning do some panning automation a little left right actually copy paste that one over there clean
amazing. I love the way this sounds. So polished, so clean. And share this with a friend if you get me.